Welcome to the Kaizen booth here at SMTA Guadalajara. I'm joined by Louis Fernandez uh, Gascon. Nice to see you, Louis. Hello, Trevor. Yeah. Nice to see you again. So you are basically um, Kaizen's guy down here in Latin America. You, you cover not just Mexico, but everything far south to uh, Brazil. And Brazil, Argentina, Costa Rica, Puerto wow. Rico. Okay. We're, we're, we're getting everywhere, everywhere, <laughs> everywhere we so, can. So you're <laughs> ramping up the air miles, eh? Yes. Uh, okay. So tell us a little bit about the um, the, the typical customer profile down here. Are you, are you pretty much servicing the, the tier one customers that have come down? We do, we yeah. do. Uh, we work a lot with the CMs, uh, right. the big CMs, you know, yeah. big names like Sanmina, Flex, uh, yeah. Foxconn. Yeah. Uh, there are some customers, some, some direct customers, direct uh, users that mm -hmm. are not CMs, but Mexico, it's basically known it, for, for the big manufacturing, right? Uh, for, right. For, Tire, tire one, right? Basically. Right, and the, and the product mix is typically stuff like automotive and some medi any high rail stuff. Uh, automotive, uh, we have some medical. There's yeah. a lot of medical development here in Mexico, as well as in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. uh, we are also having some communi communications, communications okay. companies, okay. and and aerospace. That's what what we're looking at uh, right now. A lot of movement there, and. Mm -hmm. uh, you can you can also see, uh, as you know, Nvidia, for example, it's it's being a big a big player right now. Right. So servers like Cisco, Nvidia, stuff like that is is what we were focusing so here this in equipment Mexico. for these new data centers that are coming through. Correct. They they they're all into cleaning. Uh, you see the value. Yeah, of they, they 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 need to clean their boards because you know with AI, yeah, it's basically demanding a lot from electronics right now. Uh, they need to be processing a lot of information. So yeah. uh, this heat. That is being uh, developed in the in the boards. Yeah. It's causing issues. Yeah. So they're looking to 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 clean the boards to avoid that heat for having it, uh, right. having any right. any inconvenience later yeah. on the boards. So so how what about the logistics for getting chemicals and that down south of the border here? And are there are there many um, restrictions in terms of environmental restrictions and things that you have to look at? We do have some environmental restrictions. Uh, of course, in the U.S. is basically you know Mexico. Whenever there's a regulation in the U.S., Mexico is second, second, the yes. second step, right? Right. So uh, yes, of course, any regulation that is being done in the U.S. is affecting us. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, there's a, a 3M product around that uh, it's being uh, discontinued. Yes. And it's only not not only one; it's several. Several. Yes. So that, of course, is is affecting Mexico. And yeah. that, that's because of regulations done in the U.S. That's the, is that the PFAS materials. The PFAS materials, yeah. exactly. Those are the ones that are being uh, canceled yeah. to use. Uh, basically, Kaizen, we have avail uh, available already yeah, alternatives, alternatives. Yeah. alternatives that work. Uh, it's one of the, of the main focus right now for us mm -hmm. to go after these, uh, these customers of, T of 3M. Right. Basically, because... Uh, there's a need. There's a need to clean those oh, those boards, and you cannot use those PFAS materials. So, uh, we have available uh, options, right. and and basically any 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 customer that that requires support, we can we can give it to them. In in regards to the 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 way uh, we are supporting customers here, we rely a lot in our on our, our partners. Mm -hmm. uh, we have partners here. Smarzol is our distributor here in in Mexico. Yep. It has been for several years, yep. uh, almost seven eight years. Yep. So. Uh, that's that, that has been a, a big impact for our customers because we can offer them local trainings mm -hmm. uh, using uh, our partners' uh, demo rooms that they have all over the place. They represent, as you know, uh, different uh, equipment brands, uh, right. cleaners, yeah, I mean, uh, clean, cleaning equipment. Yeah, it's the, the biggest, biggest distributor, distributor in Mexico. By, by to to be honest, it's the biggest. Yeah. Uh, I, can, I can probably say that, that we have the best partner that we could in yes. Mexico, and that has been a strong stone for us yes. to, to achieve the, the, the success that, yes. that we've done here in Mexico. What about, what about any um, sort of um, qualification of, of uh, cleaning materials uh, for, for new projects, etc.? Does that all go back up to Nashville uh, to, to, to be processed? It, de it depends. We have a, a, our main lab is in Nashville, Tennessee. Right. We have uh, capabilities, different, different analytical and application capabilities in our lab down there. Yeah. Uh, some customers they would like to do the tests and validations at their site. Mm -hmm. If they don't, then we can we can offer that support uh, in Nashville directly. Right. Uh, but most of the time, at the end of the day, we have to do to be able to support the customer on, on site. Mm -hmm. We have a great team here in Mexico. We have 
uh, two applications engineers. Mm -hmm. There's a third one in, 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 in the run, okay. uh, hopefully for the beginning of, of 2025. Right now we have four, we have five, five salespeople mm -hmm. looking for, for someone else because, you, you know, uh, we, we've been growing a lot in Mexico I know. at this point. Everybody's so. looking for people. Nobody yes, <laughs> everybody. It, everybody's moving. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's an interesting, interesting It's a very uh, dynamic stage. market right now. Yes, right yeah, absolutely. now. Absolutely. Louis, it's great to see what's happening here for Kaizen in, in, in Mexico and in Latin America. Uh, I'm sure you're doing a great job for them. So uh, I really want to thank you for coming and telling us a little bit about, about it today. No, thanks to you, Trevor. And you're always welcome here in our Kaizen booth. Thank thanks for having this. At Kaizen, we know it's the science that makes the difference. The right solutions happen when you care enough to ask the right questions. And we understand that your performance is directly related to ours. Science knows why it works, care knows why it's important.